Hello everyone and welcome to episode 52 of the James Layton Fitness Podcast. Now in today's episode we're going to be discussing whether you should be performing cardio during your bulking phase, your muscle building phase. The answer to this question, similar to a lot of the questions I've asked during the podcast episodes, is it really depends. In most situations, I'm not a huge fan of my clients performing cardio within a muscle building phase for the following reasons. The main reason is we want to try and preserve as many calories as possible for muscle growth. So if your goal is to gain muscle, we need to be in a small energy surplus, so consuming more calories than you're burning. So by actually having cardio within your routine, we're actually eating up some of those calories which could be used for growth. In addition to that, we want to try and preserve our weight training in the sense that by performing lots of cardio in in addition to your weight training, we can potentially impede recovery. You may have heard of an interference effect which can happen when you're performing both weight training and cardio. And essentially, by performing lots of weight training, we're getting the strength adaptation. However, lots of cardio, especially more the moderate style, intensity cardio we can get a endurance adaptation which is actually counterproductive to our strength adaptations that's another reason why i don't like using a lot of cardio within a muscle gain phase now with regards to fat loss phase this is completely different we're almost sacrificing some gym performance to achieve the short-term goal of losing body fat however we're in a gain phase we need to realize that that We need to protect our weight training performance as much as possible. We need to protect the amount of calories we are consuming. We want to use those calories as much as we can for muscle growth rather than just burning them via cardio. Now, one misconception is people believe that they need to use cardio within a muscle building phase to stay lean. But the reality is this would be all subject to energy balance. Ultimately, we can control our caloric intake and therefore we can control any body fat gain. Now it's important to know during a muscle building phase because we will be in a small surplus of calories there will be some body fat gain. However our goal is trying to minimize this negative effect as much as possible. At the same time we can control this negative effect by us ultimately controlling our food intake. So therefore This myth of you need to have cardio within your routine to stay lean is a a misconception because ultimately we control the energy balance by controlling our food intake. Conversely, even if you had cardio within your routine, if you were in a massive, say, 2,000 calorie surplus every day, you're going to gain a lot of body fat regardless of whether that cardio is in place or not. Therefore, the important factor is the energy balance, not whether you're performing cardio or not in relation to whether you'll gain large amounts of body fat during your muscle building phase. Another misconception is people believe they want some of the health benefits of cardio when they're in a a bulking phase. However, it's critical to realize that weight training is very similar to high intensity interval training or, or HIIT cardio because we're basically performing short intense bursts of activity followed by short rest then we're repeating the process so therefore we're actually gaining a lot of the health benefits of HIIT cardio when we perform weight training and those that are really into their weight training who perform big compound exercises who perform heavy loads will realize just how exhausting weight training can be how much your heart rate will rise during a weight training session so therefore we're already getting all of these health benefits when we're performing weight training Now the final point I want to make is enjoyment. If you really do love having some cardio in your routine and you still want to achieve muscle gains, you can still do this in moderation. And therefore, if you absolutely love doing an incline walk or a run every now and again, this is absolutely fine. The key is just doing this in moderation, not taking the emphasis away from that weight training component. And that would be the most important thing, is determining the dosage of the cardio within your routine. So as long as it's a small amount in moderation, this is fine, but don't overdo this. Another important thing to keep in mind is if you are going to have a small amount of cardio within your 
muscle gain routine is to make sure that the weight train is still the most important factor and as such don't perform this cardio immediately before the weight train. The reason being we don't want to sacrifice any strength gains within the weight training session itself by being pre-fatigued by doing cardio immediately before the session. So make sure if you do do this it's either after the weight training session or another time of the day completely or on a rest day. Therefore we're still making sure that that weight training is still at the top of our hierarchy of importance. So hopefully I found this useful, hopefully you can start applying this and hopefully this has made you realise that cardio really isn't necessary within the context of a muscle gaining phase. However, if you really enjoy some cardio, feel free to add this into your routine in moderation. If you're still yet to download my free book, How to Set Up a Nutrition Plan, if you go to James Layton, L A Y T O N Fitness.co.uk, and you can download that immediately. Additionally, download the rest of my other podcast episodes. You can also find lots of videos and articles on my website, and you can also learn more about myself and some of the services and products I have on the website as well. Thank you very much. I look forward to speaking to you next week. Take care.